Hi! Um, if you would like to see how I made this wig, then I would stay tuned and watch the video and roll the clip. Hello, um, here's an extension that is turning red right now. Um, I went down to Sally's and got six packs of extensions to make a wig, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make a wig this week. Yeah. Oh, and also, quick shout out to some awesome ladies that were at Sally's Beauty Supply that helped me out, and Emily and Brittany. Hello, and I told you I would say hi, so hello, and yeah, this is how I made the video. Bam. What I did was I put a uh, wig cap on my head, and then I put the plastic bag on my head, and then I tied the plastic bag in a, with a rubber band in the back. Um, to way below where my neck is, and then I put another one on the top of my head. Okay, so I have the red ones and I have the black ones, and I'm actually going to straighten the red ones so it doesn't get in the way. And they're straight. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to split the tracks because this is double lifted. Okay, so now that I have all of them separated, I'm going to put glue, hair glue, this like bond adhesive on the track, like the, the track head, and I'm going to glue it at the base of the nape of my head. This is what I just made, and I know a lot of people know how to make these on YouTube with the hair extensions that you coil it up and put the hair glue on it, but I did something different. I'd use this for the finishing part like everyone else does, but I know how to make an actual part, like, and it looks real with just hair extension. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So what you're going to want to do is put the glue on the track like this, like that. So, and then what you're going to want to do is slowly fold it in to itself like that and i believe Petr yeah petra lead has a, a video like this too so you can check out his channel i'll have the link in the description box he's really cool and awesome um, and but i did th I'm, I'm actually doing something a little bit different because uh, i don't believe he has a video that does this and i haven't seen a video on youtube that does this so as far as i'm concerned i I made this up, but I'm sure someone out there has done this before, and I can't be the first person. And yeah, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a part like this, and instead of just making it a circle with like the hair all around, you're going to part it like that. Can you see that? And then you're gonna clamp the flat iron onto it like this. So that it creates a part and press hard. Like that. And then it looks like this. Like real hair. Like a real part. And it looks real. I connect them and I'll show you how to connect like ten of these to make it look like an actual like root part. That's really cool. Okay, so you can kind of see what I'm doing, or in the pro process of doing, is I'm going to create a part. Now I'm just going to glue these together. So I'll show you how to do it. First, you're going to pick the piece that you want to be in the front, and this is what I want in the front uh, of like, where this is going to be, like what stands out. So this is how you do that. So you're going to get your glue. And you're going to put just a tiny itty bitty bit right there, so the other track has something to adhere to. And then you're going to attach the other track on top of that, right there. And then you're going to press down on it with your flat iron. 
And let's put them on the two together. And you can reposition it if you need to. Overlap it a little bit more so it looks neater. And then I'm going to go back and put a bunch of glue up on the bottom of these uh, at the end. So, okay, so I've completed the part that's going to do basically this around my head. And then I'm going to have this big piece right here that goes there that creates that little part that everybody has in their head. I mean, it's going to look a lot better than this, but you know, let's see if you can get a better idea. Okay, so now what I did was marked an outline of where the red is going, which is in here, and up and through this area, and then the sides are going to be the really dark brown right here. It's going to be like really short and straight, and this is going to be really wavy. Okay, so now I've finished this section, and went all the way up with extensions, like that, and since they are um, split in half, it helps them look more realistic, like the hair follicles are a lot thinner, well, you know what I mean, like, like the tracks don't look bulky and like, they, they can lay flatter. Okay, it's like 12.45, but um, I got all the red done, and now I just have to do the black on those sides, and that should take very long. It looks kind of crazy right now, but I need to just style it and stuff. Oh, I have to work in the morning too. Mm. Okay, so the next thing that I'm doing is I'm gluing the black tracks on the side of the head. Okay, and it is finished. Um, I ended up just gluing the brown black ones on the sides and then just cutting them down like that with scissors and scissors. And then I waved this. Um, and this is what I came up with, and then I, um, put some black in the roots so it blends in and looks more natural. Plus, they're just like the extreme of roots. <laughs> now that I think about it, this wig actually kind of reminds me of, like, the Love Game wig. Like, Lady Gaga's wig in the Love Game. Shave this or cut it to where it looked shaved. So, this wig kind of reminds me of like Bowser's. Question was, if you lived in a movie or a TV show, what would the TV show be? Or what would the theme song be? And it would definitely just be born this way because every day I sing that theme song to myself and it just makes me like a better person and it puts me in a really good mood. And it reminds me that I was born the way I was and to love myself and that, yeah, basically that. This is the question that I'm asking. What wig would you make? What would it look like? Where would you wear it? Why would you wear it? Yeah.